mega hype. Perhaps the real question is, should I buy it? Hi, I'm Lauren Fielder, and welcome to GameSpot TV's special Dreamcast Game Spot edition. TV. Adam wow. is out and about on the Dreamcast trail to find out if Sega's new system is the real deal. The Dreamcast, Sega's new game system, is only about two and a half inches high and seven and a half inches hey, wide. But that's this Adam little Sessler. Gray box holds the faith of a company and the future. That's of Adam an Sessler's voice. That's Adam Sessler. For the next few months, it will be difficult to miss the hype surrounding the new game system. Sega reportedly poured a hundred million dollars on marketing and advertising. With cash and oh. flash, the company hopes to allay any doubts of success and erase memories of its sordid past. Don't make me hurt you. So after the experience hey, of Saturn, Sessler. Wow. Down to the Dreamcast. I think the lessons, the primary lessons we learned were retail distribution. Be no more, yeah, uh, that guy. Making sure that the right partners got the right amount of product at the right time. Uh, as well as uh, marketing. Skeptics and critics had a field day after the Dreamcast disappointing launch in Japan last November. The unimpressive game lineup led to speculations and seemed to spell the end for the video game giant. So what do you think of all of the controversy in the Why is this filmed in Dutch angles? surrounded the Dreamcast for the past six months? I love the fact that people have an opinion and uh, rightly or wrongly, it's better than being blasé. And so opinions about Dreamcast will never make it, it'll never launch, PlayStation 2 will blow it out of the water when it comes, uh, Dolphin will be along it eventually. Um, it's a vibrant business. And, and, and if nobody cared, then the business wouldn't be growing to the level that it's at right now. The turnaround came around this year's E3 event. Like a veteran prize fighter, Sega got its second wind and dealt a wake-up punch. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Great, this this Showcase video is going to be blocked on Japanese YouTube now. And American titles in that guy booth. got paid a lot Sega of money to say that. Do a double take and turn doubters into believers. <laughs> Videogames.com editor Jeff Gertzman was one of them. Back when the system came out in Japan, I mean the launch lineup in Japan. Labadol D. Games that were coming out, you know, even months after the system was out in Japan. Labadol D. Are you but, okay I mean, in this season? Are you are you human or really a puppet? Stellar. It's like everyone, every single journalist in this business said. You know, if Sega doesn't come out with the biggest console launch in history, Dr. Bear is Frank Prince Jr. Dead, ready? Dead, Let us know. Over. But, yeah, uh, we're, they, we're they really high right now. The we're gonna... is expected to launch you know that Jeff Gersman, he, he got fired from GameSpot because he gave Zelda, Zelda grins and like an 8 or something, or 7. I forgot what Zelda was. He gave Zelda like a 7, and now the whole world was like, how dare you? There's some publishers that just aren't comfortable with the new yeah, system. Yeah, what's Zelda? He, he gave a lower view to 7. Look at them shirts, Adam Sessler. Even on the strength of Soul Calibur, have no future plans with any titles. Then again, there's some other companies that are far more. I came back to life. Yeah, I think it's a great time. All right. Oh, 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 what is that? <laughs> the much anticipated Final Fantasy VIII for the PlayStation ships the same day as the Dreamcast launch. Sony and Nintendo just dropped their system's prices to $100, and the abrupt departure of its U.S. president are raising some eyebrows. But if oh, you're but a he had Sonic DJ! To play the best games money can buy, these issues I want some chocolate are peanuts. Really? What do you say to the viewer that doesn't have that much cash? Oh, they're exposed to them, but they're only able to get one route. of the next generation console systems. Do they wait for the Nintendo and the Sony, or should they go ahead and get the Dreamcast now? They should uh, steal a bunch of money from their parents and run out and buy a Dreamcast. Oh, he said Dreamcast. Based on what you've seen of the system, oh, would God. you How buy you get a Dreamcast? Have you ordered one already? Ah. Visit the GameSpot TV website and take our Dreamcast poll. And if you'd like to learn more about the Dreamcast, go to the Dreamcast dossier feature on videogames.com. Ah. Coming up on GameSpot oh, TV, got more? Sean Smith from Electronic Gaming oh. Monthly what? examines what the Dreamcast that? hardware that's and look peripherals. There. And we run down the top <laughs> games for the new console. With graphics reaching new heights. Who had a Dreamcast on I'm so a hand in the chat. Give me some of those chocolate peanuts. All right. Oh, God. Welcome back. 
Time to check out just what makes the Dreamcast tick. Can the system withstand the test of time, not to mention the long hours gaming? Adam and EGN's Sean Smith dissect the game system and give us the lowdown. What is she wearing? Well, you've seen the games and you've heard all the hype, but now let's check out what's driving the Dreamcast. We brought in Sean Smith and EGM all the way from Chicago. How's it going, Adam? It's going really He's well. He's holding now. the Dreamcast? He's the design of the Dreamcast. He's walking on the street with the Dreamcast. It's, dream box, <laughs> but I like it. uh, it's glowing. It's controller ports in the front for multiplayer games. Why is it glowing? The There's nothing really cluttering the system. One thing I'm concerned about is the fan. The system tends to get pretty hot, so I think there may be some heat, heat issues in the future. But overall, I think it'll get the job done. Wow, look at those so specs. The CPU the Dreamcast was sort of this mega processor. What this was 1999. Oh, I had that EGM. I had that fucking EGM. I had all the, oh my God, I bet that shit's like $100 Brazilian dollars. All right. And you're going to find that's two or three times. I had that EGM, David. I wasn't allowed to, to read other things other than the Bible. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, all right. What does that mean? Um, well, it's it's basically a, a disk that holds one gigabyte, which is a thousand megs of data, opposed mm -hmm. to 650 megabytes that's on a standard CD. Um, the other reason is that uh, it's 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 a proprietary format for Sega, so pirates are going to have a harder time copying okay. these, these disks. <laughs> Why does he look so serious? Now the operating system is Windows CE. What's that That's right, little piggy. Uh, you well, would be my Bible uh, buddy. I don't think little piggy wants to be a Bible. You killed like his child. PC game All right, we're not talking about last Dreamcast. season. We're talking but about the second yeah, drink app launch in 1999. We're watching Adam Sessler. Fact, Microsoft has more employees All right, working on the Windows CE down. than they Jesus do on Christ. Windows 98. Chill, chill out, bro. So the modem, what's your verdict on it? I think it's the most exciting part of the Dreamcast at this point. I mean, it's, it's a 56K modem. Console gamers have never had anything quite like that. And, and with the port's expandability, I mean, you can put an ISDN modem, a DSL modem, or even a cable Are you good? In there. And, and yeah, I'm chilling. It's really going to open up a lot I'm of doors for uh, online gaming for console Hell gamers. Hell like a villain. So expandability, what's the potential for the system to grow? I think David's too well, fucking hot. David is too fucking high right now. I think the Dreamcast is going to play. I'm a little high. His, his hands <laughs> way up my ass. I got the contact high. Well, you know, four or five years. Let's share. Let's share. I'm, I'm chilling out, bro. All right. They're, they're putting me to sleep. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, they, they went full nerd. That's why X-Play was born. They're like, you could go a little nerd, but not full SZD TV nerd. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh, this is such a great chair. We, we were trying to get a beanie bag, but you know what? I think this chair worked out. What do you think, Lava Lamp? Lava Lamp! Lava Lamp! Oh, 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 o